Okay, yeah. hi everyone. Um, actually, I'm very glad glad that uh, I can see another guys share something about LTDB. Um, I'm Huang Xiang, I'm Xiang Dong Huang, and uh, come from Tsinghua University in China. And uh, I'm uh, one of the initial committers of Apache LTDB and uh, LTDB PMs channel. And uh, in this in this talk, I'd like to share some new features of Apache LTDB. And uh, uh, actually, before before I listened to the previous talk, I I thought uh, maybe some friends can uh, maybe do not hear about LTDB or do not know it clear clearly. But after uh, listen to the previous uh, talk, I think um, I I I I needn't uh, introduce the basic information about about LTDB now. So I I will uh, skip some slides and go to the uh, formal uh, main body directly. So um, but uh, I I I still want to say something about LTDB's name. Uh, LTDB LTDB name consists of two words LT and uh, the DB. Um, so uh, uh, you can see LT is is uh, it's the target scenario consists of uh, industrial LT or uh, uh, consume LT or some other scenarios like finance and the DB means uh, the 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 software type of the uh, uh, the software type it is a database for LT data um, uh, uh, as is the time source data so uh, I think everyone has no uh, what is time source data so I will skip these slides and uh, um, this is the uh, LTB can be can uh, provide a high throughput for read and write operations and uh, um, it is uh, it, its architecture consists of three parts. Uh, first, the storage uh, the third the on, on the uh, bottom of the finger uh, it is its storage live storage engine uh, and uh, it provides the data format of LTDB called the TS file. And uh, the second on the left top of the uh, finger uh, it's uh, LTDB square engine mm, and uh, and uh, uh, in this in this model, uh, we also provide uh, some synchronization uh, models to synchronize the data between uh, uh, two LTDB instances. And uh, on the right of the finger, um, we provide many uh, integration uh, uh, connectors with big data uh, system to provide uh, data mining and uh, or AP operations and some other uh, powerful functions. And uh, mm, LTDB has a very uh, a, a little strange uh, schema type. It, we call it a, a tree-based uh, schema. Uh, I think uh, uh, Trevo has introduced it clearly. And uh, uh, I think all of us have no LTDB can auto create uh, new schemas, new time series to the database. So uh, if you want a uh, uh, flex uh, schema, you do not need to uh, create the time series uh, manually. And uh, um, actually, oh, sorry, let me help you. Okay, uh, actually we, uh, we developed uh, IoTDB from 2016, but uh, uh, until uh, 2018, 2018 uh, we donated IoTDB to Apache Foundation. And uh, now uh, IoTDB has, uh, uh, in 2020, IoTDB has become the top level project. So uh, uh, this, uh, these days, uh, we, we are preparing the T-shirt with LTDB logo. So if you want to get a t-shirt, such a t-shirt, you, you can you can contact me after the, the talk or uh, leave a message to me or leave a message to the uh, mail list. Uh, and then we may uh, uh, send post your uh, t-shirt. And uh, uh, these days uh, we have integrated IOTDB with many other uh, 
open source open source software to uh, cover the whole life cycle of the data management from data collection to uh, data processing and uh, data analyze and uh, do some data applications and uh, let me see Wait. okay um okay uh, the community and the project grows quickly in this two days in, in these two years and the LTP version 0 0.8 is the first Apache release uh, which can support high throughput and um, for read and write and it, it is used in, it was used in uh, subway data management in Shanghai China uh, and I have introduced the uh, the use case in uh, in 2019. Uh, Apache Kong, Apache Kong in uh, North America and uh, Europe. And LTP version 0 0.9 and 0 0.10 uh, redesigned the storage engine and the query engine to support uh, the better uh, query performance. And uh, however, there are still many, um, uh, if there are uh, many time series, uh, those, those versions may be out of memory. And the uh, version 0 0.11 solves the issues. And uh, from version 0, uh, 0.12, LTV begins to enhance its data analysis functions and the uh, cluster model, uh, which will be introduced in this talk. And uh, uh, just in, 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 the, in the last uh, talk, uh, some, someone asked uh, that does LTV can pro, uh, provide uh, uh, high availability or the cluster mode? Um, I think you will know the answer uh, in this talk. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I will. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So I will introduce some new features of IoTDB uh, from uh, zero z uh, zero twelve version. Uh, there are totally uh, I, I I summarize I summarize six features, but. Uh, 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 some are very simple and some are very, uh, maybe uh, a little complex. Firstly, uh, because we know uh, LTB is developed using Java. However, we know many industrial automation systems use C, C++, C++ or C Sharp as the system runs on Windows, Windows operating systems. Besides, many IoT applications runs on, uh, on the edge side uh, using uh, use Go language. The uh, third, data analysis consistent uh, statistics usually use Python. So uh, the community provides multi uh, multi language client uh, libraries and uh, uh, in some uh, embedded devices, we we are planning to uh, to provide some uh, some models uh, with C plus C plus 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 uh, native lag, uh, library as as a native library. And but we 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 didn't uh, we do not start to do that and they they uh, that is our uh, future plan. And uh, uh, and I think uh, uh, Trevor has has told to uh, to 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 you that uh, even though IoTDB uh, is developed in Java, but uh, uh, the JDBC is not very fast. It is because um, our current uh, uh, SQL parser is not very efficient and uh, we didn't uh, implement the prepare statement interface in, J uh, in JDBC. Uh, but if you want to get a faster performance, uh, it is better to use uh, Java Native API or also called the Session API. Um, and uh, I remember uh, uh, Taravo said LTB has no uh, GOI. Uh, yes, this is true. But uh, uh, this year we integrate LTDB with many other uh, softwares to provide the, uh, the uh, a GOI. For example, we, uh, we integrate with Zeppelin. And uh, uh, using Zeppelin, you can uh, input the SQL on your browser and uh, uh, see the result uh, uh, in a table format or in a curve format. And uh, uh, 
even though GDPC is not very efficient for uh, high throughput write or read operations, but uh, uh, using GDPC, you can still uh, integrate LTB with many other existing softwares like uh, DataGrip, like DBAver, and uh, some others. And uh, uh, LTB has provided uh, uh, provide the Grafana plugin uh, for a while, but uh, in previous versions, uh, we use the simple JSON plugin to, to realize the data. Uh, however, the plugin has some performance issues, especially when we want to select uh, which time series to show. Uh, and uh, if so, we have to send all the time series names from the backend uh, to the front end, front end web browser, uh, which may have may spend uh, 100 megabytes or one gigabytes uh, bandwidth. And so we developed a new Gra uh, Grafana plugin, which allow users to select the time series level level by level uh, in a tree format. Uh, but this uh, Grafana plugin is not released uh, uh, now. Uh, and we, 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 need, we still need some test and uh, we'll finally uh, uh, publish it uh, on Graf Grafana plugin store. Uh, of course, it is open source. Though. It will be open sourced. And this is another uh, web, uh, web GUI, web-based GUI. Uh, it is donated by a Chinese, uh, another Chinese company and uh, 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 users can use it to manage the, the 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 how many users and the users permissions and can uh, we can see the the schemas uh, I mean the storage groups and the time series definition uh, on the website on, on this web page and we can also uh, input SQLs on this uh, web page but uh, the, the 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 result can be only shown. Uh, by the table format. Okay, so 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 all the above are uh, how to uh, how to use the LTDB or uh, some uh, more user friendly tool to to let you, uh, users to uh, try LTDB, and uh, the the following features are some uh, performance improvement or uh, some uh, new fe uh, new functions. Uh, the first one is time partition. Actually, time partition is in, uh, introduced in 0 0.10, but uh, until uh, 0 0.12, uh, it uh, is uh, uh, used in some uh, real production applications. Okay, let me see. So, but 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 until now, by default, the uh, uh, the the the, the the, the function or the feature is uh, disabled. Uh, so if you if we in the enable the time partition feature, then the data will be split into different data files. Uh, uh, while each data file maintain or will maintain uh, a time partition. And for example, uh, in this case, uh, the first seven days data is stored is stored in file A, and the next seven days data is stored in file B. Uh, uh, if so, uh, if you want to, um, okay, let me see the next page. So um, it is obvious that if we want to move or remove a part of data, especially remove a, a whole time, time partition, uh, it will be very easy because, because we can just delete the corresponding data folder directly. Besides, uh, it's more uh, uh, robust if, you, if your data uh, has some time dimension errors. For example, uh, look at this figure. Uh, in, in each time partition, the data will be put into sequence. This is sequence, sequence data space and unsequenced data space. Uh, it depends on whether data is time ordered uh, in that partition. And uh, I think Turbo has said, if the data uh, is out of order, it will take uh, uh, some additional press uh, stress on LTDB and will maybe uh, impact LTDB's performance. For example, in the first partition, the two data points, the, the two data points will enter to the, the, the sequence sequence space because they comes in the time order. 
uh, but in the second time partition, the first data point will go to the, the, the sequence space, but the second data point will go to the unsequenced space. Uh, actually, it, it doesn't uh, impact uh, uh, your query. You can query, uh, you, you can get, if you, if you uh, query the data uh, between, uh, from August uh, 1st to August uh, 70, uh, August 30, uh, you can get two points. And the po first point is this one, and the second point is, is this one. But uh, in the backend of IOTDB, uh, the, this point will be stored in sequence space, and this point will be stored in the unsequence space. So let's consider another, another scenario. If there's a, um, a, 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 a error data, or um, I mean, the, 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 time, the, the timestamp may be, may be incorrect, uh, there are in, uh, actually there are many uh, we, we can find many uh, reasons to uh, to cause cause this 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 error point maybe the the network uh, is not very stable and maybe the the, fire, uh, the firmware has some bugs uh, so anyway if we you, if LTDB receives such a data point and if we do not enable the time partition uh, feature, this point will be uh, stored in a sequence space and all other new arriving uh, data points, uh, or, or I mean the arriving uh, data points with correct timestamp, for example, this point and this point, because their timestamp is less, uh, less than this one, so all these nodes, all these points will be stored in unsequence space and will uh, bring some additional stress to LTDB. So if we enable the time partition feature, uh, the, the red point, this, this arrow point, will be stored in an uh, in individual uh, time partition data file. And uh, all, these new, all these correct file uh, data points will be stored to this space, uh, sequence space. So uh, this feature may, be, may, may improve the LTB's performance if your uh, data quality is not very good. Okay, um, but if we set the time partition range too small and the out of data cross too many time partitions, then uh, there may be some memory problem because for each active uh, time partition, we will we will assign some memory to to the time partition to let it accept new data points. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, so so maybe if you if you find uh, you you enable the time partition feature and uh, you find uh, all your time all your uh, TS file data file uh, size is very small, maybe it's, it's it is because the increase in, in uh, incorporate uh, time partition uh, range. Uh, okay, the, the next is the cluster uh, feature. Um, we know uh, until uh, 2020, uh, IOTDB, uh, we, 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 we just uh, released, uh, released IOTDB single node version. Uh, many, uh, many years ask us, asked us, uh, when we can uh, provide the cluster version. Uh, actually, we developed the first version for, uh, of the cluster model in uh, 2019, but the performance is not very good. So we uh, re-implemented it uh, with a uh, uh, peer-to-peer architecture and uh, using and use raft, uh, raft uh, protocol to uh, Guarantee the the the, the rapid consistency. Uh, I mean, rapid strong consistency. And in IoTDB, there are two uh, two kinds of raft groups. One is called the meta group, meta raft group, and another called the data raft group. Um, uh, in in current version version, uh, all the nodes all the nodes in the cluster will form a, a meta raft group, and uh, 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 several nodes. Uh, will form a data raft group. Uh, for example, uh, here I, I said the K, 
nodes will form a data group. Here, the k is a replica refactor. A factor. And, uh, uh, but this is not the final, I think this is not the final uh, format of the custom model because we, uh, uh, in, in, some, in, in some applications in, 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 in our uh, user, uh, from our user, they said they want to deploy a cluster with uh, more than 100 uh, servers. Uh, if so, uh, this architecture is too heavy because uh, the, 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 there are 100 uh, nodes in one meta group, group and may take may, may, may need some uh, performance issue. So uh, maybe in the next version or in the uh, next two versions, we will uh, redesign the meta group to group uh, to just uh, to let it just contains uh, a part of nodes. And in in LTDB. Um, uh, because uh, as I said, several nodes will form a data gr data raft group. So uh, in the whole cluster, there are many data graph data raft groups. For example, uh, if we have five nodes in you know, in the cluster and uh, the replica the replica factor is one, which means there's no replica, uh, then there will be five data groups. But if the replica factor is three, which means each data will be stored three times, uh, then there will be ten data groups totally in the cluster. Okay, um, and when we use uh, in the custom mode, uh, data is harsh is harshed uh, according to the storage group name and the time partition. So currently, uh, we use the uh, uh, consistent hash called slot consistent hash, and each data group will manage several slots. So um, you can consider uh, data group one. Uh, uh, manage the uh, story group one with uh, uh, within seven days data, and the data group two uh, manages uh, uh, also manage the, uh, story group one's data, but in the next seven days data uh, like this. Um, uh, the LTDB clusters uh, read and write process is process is quite uh, similar with Apache Cassandra. Uh, I mean, each node can be considered as a proxy. Uh, that means uh, a client can, can connect uh, any nodes, any node to uh, read and write data. And uh, uh, even though Raft process, Raft uh, pro protocol provides strong consistency for uh, multi replic but we uh, also uh, did some uh, do some changes to allow user. Uh, read data in a uh, uh, eventual consistency to reduce the read latency. And if you want to try uh, the, the, the cluster model, uh, you, you can download uh, uh, LTDB's uh, uh, the binary files uh, who's, uh, that, that uh, which name, which uh, ends with uh, cluster name. And you can also uh, try our uh, you, you, you can also try with Docker. Uh, we provide a Docker Compose file on, uh, in, in the source folder uh, in, this, in this path. Uh, you, you just need to, uh, to, to, you just need to uh, change this one and change the uh, scale factor. And uh, uh, the next three, the next the last, uh, the, the last three features are uh, virtual storage group. Uh, this is for uh, performance improvement, and the the last two are for for rich for uh, functions. <coughs> okay, um, we know LTDB uh, has a, a concept called the story group. Um, it is quite similar. This uh, story group is quite similar with the concept of uh, a database in relational database because it can separate data uh, physically. However, before version 0 0.12, story group is not the, not only a business con concept, but also a performance parameter. Um, we say it a, a business concept because different uh, story groups will save data into different folders, so so that the data is physical uh, isolation. But for example, if your if your application stores data from two business or, uh, owners, uh, for example BMW. 
and uh, uh, another brand. Uh, you can create two storage groups. Uh, we say it, but uh, we say it, it, it is also a performance parameter because each storage group will be assigned a processor and will and all right operations that belong to the same storage group uh, will complete compete uh, to get the right lock uh, of the storage group uh, even these right operation operations write data into different time series but the, uh, if they belong to the same storage group they have to be uh, uh, serialized and or, or uh, linearized <coughs> so to improve the right right throughput, right throughput uh, we may have to create more than one storage group, uh, like 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 this. Uh, for example, we just want to create a, a, a storage group called SD, but because we want to uh, in, we want to uh, allow the uh, right operations in parallel, we may create uh, three three storage groups and uh, called SD one, SD two, and SD three. It is very uh, not. Uh, convenient for users and it break uh, the, 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 the bins concept. Uh, so <clears throat> from, uh, from uh, 0.12, we provide another uh, parameter called the virtual story group. Uh, um, that, that means uh, each, story, each story group will, contains, uh, will, uh, will consist of several virtual, virtual story groups. Uh, you, you just need to uh, uh, to to define uh, the number of virtual storage groups of each group, each storage group. If so, uh, for example, if you set this 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 parameter as three, then uh, even though you just create one one storage group, you can get uh, uh, three uh, virtual storage groups in in the backend, uh, and maybe your 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 write performance can can increase. Uh, two times or uh, almost two times. And uh, let me see, we have this. Okay. Um, actually, but 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 the uh, uh, virtual third group is not, uh, there, are, there are some limits about the virtual third group uh, in, in this version. Uh, if you, if you defend, if you enable this feature and uh, uh, change this, and and you have sent uh, defined the the, the the value, you and you have write new write, write data, uh, you cannot uh, modify this this parameter anymore uh, unless you remove all your data. So this is a, a limitation uh, now, but uh, uh, we want to solve the the, the limitation uh, in in the next version or maybe in the next two versions because it's not. Uh, uh, very easy because uh, data uh, is partitioned uh, automatically in in this mode, and we have to find uh, we, we have to find a way to to know uh, which data is partitioned to which virtual SD. <coughs> uh, but but anyway, this this feature can can in, in, improve your performance performance if you do not want to break your business. Uh, schema and the last two features are UDF and trigger. Uh, UDF has been mentioned by uh, Trevo, and I will introduce it more, 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 more detail. Um, uh, after we uh, introduce IoTDB to some users, and we heard some not uh, some voice, uh, they say we do not uh, just. Uh, uh, need uh, the data storage. Uh, we 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 okay, and uh, uh, we also need the data analysis, and we want to cast cast uh, customize an, an analysis, uh, not only just the, the 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 functions we provide. So um, we we introduce the user defined function. User defined function is a programming interface of IoTDB. And it allows users to add their uh, customized functions to meet their business needs. And uh, uh, it is used, uh, it is implemented by Java ref Reflection. Uh, so uh, maybe there is a, a, little, a, a little performance uh, 
uh, reduce, but uh, not too much, maybe just one percent or two percent. And to to write a UDF, you just need to uh, implement a UDF Java class, and uh, you can use the SQL statement to 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 mount the uh, UDF or unmount the UDF. Uh, actually, we 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 uh, uh, we we separate UDF in two uh, in, in two types. Uh, first is called UDTF, and another another is called UDAF. Uh, UDF means user defined aggregation function, uh, and UDTF means user uh, user defined time series function. Uh, in UDTF, uh, uh, it, it, the, the each function can uh, can take multiple time series as the input uh, input, and uh, just uh, uh, and the output output is a uh, time series. But uh, for UDF, the output is one uh, value is is a value. Uh, it is it, so UDF is very similar with uh, select count, select max, select last, uh, but UDTF maybe selects the uh, sine, select cosine, select uh, or select FFT uh, like uh, others. Um, after uh, and many users said to us, uh, IOTDB uh, just provide uh, uh, very limited. Uh, Functions. If we if they compare IoTDB with some other time series database like InfraDB, uh, but uh, after we have the UDF, uh, we it is very very easy and is uh, uh, to to and it's very very easy to implement a lot of functions. So uh, in just one week, we implement so many uh, UDF functions to to support more. Powerful mathematical functions and uh, some other processing. Um, to use uh, uh, when, when we have have implemented your your UDF uh, and want to use it uh, in query language, in query statement is very very uh, similar. Or there's no difference uh, uh, with the uh, existing uh, aggregation functions. For for example, uh, select uh, S one sine S one cosine S one. From the uh, a series, uh, then you can get the raw data and you can get the mathematical uh, results. Um, <clears throat> we we also provide many other uh, functions, and I will skip it. Uh, okay, I, 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 and uh, uh, because UDF provides a um, uh, flexible uh, parameter, uh, you you can you can input uh, uh, any. Uh, parameter you want, so it's very flexible. And, and for example, using this way, you can you can implement some uh, some functions like top top k, like uh, distinct. But uh, this top k, because U UDF, uh, uh, the the implication of UDF is scan scans all the data. Uh, uh, so uh, the, the the UDF function is not very fast as uh, select max select count because uh, select max and select count and some other aggregate functions has uh, the internal index. And if you want to deploy uh, implement your UDF, you just need to uh, uh, depends this uh, library and uh, and. Uh, 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 implement some functions, uh, for example, before start to 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 uh, initialize and uh, uh, implement the transform function to do some transform to get the the, the your 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 real uh, business logic. Uh, after after uh, implement your UDF, you you you, you uh, and when you get your jar jar file, uh, just put it in LTDB's uh, uh, this folder. And uh, uh, you do not need to 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 re uh, restart LTDB, uh, and you can load it by by using this this, this language uh, this statement create function and uh, and 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 define and and claim your uh, your class name. Uh, then you can use the the, the UDF, uh, and you can use show functions to show uh, all the uh, all the functions 
uh, the native means uh, 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 some aggregation functions that are not uh, implemented by uh, UDF framework, but built in means uh, means uh, uh, LTD provided. And uh, if you if you implement a new one, it will be called uh, called a third part or some others. This is the life cycle of of uh, of uh, the UDF. The, the, the main method is transform, and I will skip uh, the, the the details. But let's see uh, an example. Uh, for example, we, we want to do a a sim sim mesh like uh, 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 select something from the table where uh, a column like uh, a, a string in MySQL. <coughs> Then you just need to, uh, okay, just to transform, uh, implement the transform you, uh, in, in, in one line. And this is a, 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 a more complex uh, uh, example. And I think uh, maybe I have, uh, I have 10 minutes left, maybe 10, 10 minutes. So uh, I, will, I will introduce the, uh, the, 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 uh, if I have time, I will uh, share uh, a, a real application, uh, a, a real interface, a uh, GUI with Zeppelin to show the UDF. Actually, I didn't prepare this this, 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 uh, this stage, but uh, because I see uh, Ter Terrible uh, show a, 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 a real demo, so I want to share, also want to share it with you. Let me. Uh, open it. Oh, sorry. Okay, they, this one. Okay, let's go to the, the, the Zeppelin and uh, let's see the IoT quality. Uh, this one. So, okay. So by using show functions, we can see there are so many uh, uh, functions. And uh, this is a, 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 a raw data query. Uh, we select S1 from uh, CloudWise D1, where time, uh, time greater than, than, than this. And we can see um, this, these data points are, uh, are outlier data. Obviously, the data quality is not very good. Then we can use FFT function to uh, to change the the, the, the data to, to to convert the data from the time domain to the to the uh, uh, frequency domain to do some uh, analytics. For example, uh, after after uh, uh, convert it, we can see the the, the main frequency is uh, very intense, but we can still find some uh, outlier frequency, and uh, we can use low pass and high pass to uh, for example if we use low pass we can we can find the the the, the trend of the the, the the time series and if we use the high pass we can find the outlier uh, clearly and uh, uh, we can also use resample to to do more 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 complex uh complex down sampling uh, even though LTDB has provided the, the down sampling uh, uh, the language like go by, but if you want, if you want to uh, do some uh, resample uh, logical yourself, you can use it. You can you can use UDF. And uh, um, for others, I will I'll skip others because there's no much time. And finally, I will introduce the 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 trigger uh, feature to you. Okay, okay. Um, in trigger is, is quite similar with uh, uh, is quite similar with uh, uh, UDF. And uh, if you see the UDF, if you see how, how to implement uh, a trigger, you will see you just need to to to, to implement uh, on create me method. Uh, but let's see when we can use a uh, trigger or uh, how or what a trigger can do. Actually, trigger provides a mechanism for listening to change to the changes in a time series. 
and uh, uh, with your defined logical functions like uh, you can you can do some window evaluation or uh, the data forward uh, using trigger. For example, if you find uh, uh, outlier data and you want to uh, uh, notify others, or maybe notify the administration or send a send an email. Or, or, or send a uh, message to 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 users or to to some other uh, systems. You can use trigger, or or if you you get the uh, uh you can collect the the, the the speed of a car and you can get the 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 the, the, the execution uh, time of the car and and if you want to know how uh how far the car has driven, you can uh in one hour. You can use trigger to uh to 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 put all the all the all the uh data in uh in in one hour uh we call it a window and uh, uh get uh, some value uh, and uh, uh, then write to a new another time series. So uh, a, a trigger is also uh implemented using a Java reflect and you can use SQL to 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 to, to use it. Uh, Let's see an example. Okay, this is a file. Um, let's see an example. Um, for example, uh, we have a, a time series like this, and uh, there's a trigger uh, example. And uh, uh, we want to we want to find if the the value is less than zero or if the level is higher than uh, ten. We will uh, send a, send a message. So you you just need to. Um, okay, okay. Uh, we do not send the message, but we write the 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 the, the, the outlier data into another time series. So you can see this is uh, another. This is the, uh, the the final result. Let me see an 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 exam. And okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I I forgot to put a, a complete uh, example here. But uh, just remember, you just need to. To implement the file function, and uh, finally, um, uh, in this talk, I want to share you um, some new features. Uh, maybe some uh, performance implementation and uh, performance uh, uh, improvements, or some uh, new features implementation. And uh, uh, we, we, we actually we have many ideas to do, and we we hope you more more guys to join the community and enjoy the IoTDB. And if you um, want to uh, contact with us you can uh, send email on the mail list or you can also uh, join the ltb slack that's all thank you yeah th thank you very much this was a really interesting talk again uh, every time i i listen to your talks I, I really have a lot of work to do after that because i really want to try that stuff out <laughs> thank you thank you yeah so um I think uh, even if we're over time already, uh, I think uh, we can ask answer a few uh, questions if there are any, because uh, uh, I think we have a sort of forty minute break uh, between the next you and the next session. So I think it's okay for a few minutes more. Um, yeah, 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 it's okay. But uh, but actually, this is midnight in China, so so I, maybe I cannot wait to uh, uh, stay too too long time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think uh, the the one question uh, that showed up actually wasn't a question. I think. Um, okay. Yeah. So. Okay, it's terrible. Huh? Well, uh, then um, all I can do is uh, thank you uh, and uh, hope to see you uh, again in person sometime soon. Uh, and uh, we'll definitely read each other on the on the mailing list. Okay.